Ya, yeah? right now, okay, perfect. Well, in this session, we are going to be talking about the general concept of modern extension development. Um, this, I, th I think that this is a, a nice a continuation from the previous uh, session about uh, uh, the REST APIs that we can use to connect modern extensions. So this presentation is not going to be very technical. I prefer to talk at high level why we need to create modern extensions. About me, I am Anibal. I am the team leader of Exli. In Exli, we create, uh, we develop extensions for Joomla, and we also are currently creating uh, mobile applications for Joomla. And this is what we are going to be talking, mainly based on our experience creating this extension and their mobile applications. Uh, I, have also I am also a runner, and I practice Aikido. Sometimes, if you want, I have so a Joomla. So uh, we are, are here, you know what it's a Joomler. I am also the uh, assistant team manager of the extension directory. So part of our talk is also based on our review of uh, actual uh, extensions. For example, part of what we do in Exli, we create uh, this kind of extensions. This is one of our uh, upcoming extensions. This is based on uh, UCL and AutoTweet. This is an extension to publish from Joomla to social networks. As you can see, this is the next major ver version that is coming. It's going to be mobile ready, and we are preparing a mobile application and an extension that's going to be integrated in Joomla. This is, for example, the composer. And this is the view uh, that the extension is going to have uh, inside the Joomla backend. As you can see, uh, there's a, a full page application, and you can, for example, go back uh, to Joomla at any time. This is what we are going to be mainly talking in our presentation. And this is also another line of work that we are working on. Uh, the concept of having mobile applications for uh, Joomla with the current technology uh, and what we can do. For example, this is a, a mobile application for Easy Social. Uh, we also create a web solution for clients. Um, for example, I, I always like to feature this project that's a, a news agency from San Juan, Argentina. In Argentina, they, this is a, a, pl a beautiful place where uh, you can visit. And this province in Argentina, uh, and in this project, we have created a, a, a website to publish news and a, a mobile application, for example, to, re to receive notifications uh, from the news agency. Uh, in this presentation, we are going, I'm going to be mainly talking about our experience. Um, I, I, have to, I want to clarify that my opinions are my own. Um, uh, I'm part of the experience of we are uh, having creating applications for Joomla. We are not going to be talking about Joomla 4. Uh, mm, I think that Joomla 4 is uh, logical in the a step of to upgrade the platform in the right direction. But in this presentation particularly, we are not going to be talking about this. We are going to be talking mainly about crazy stuff to create applications and modern technology that is not related with the, the next logical step of Joomla. So one question is, what is a modern extension? why we need a modern extension. And the idea is that we want to create a future-proof software that can last for the next 10 years. So we are going to think in a way and present a, 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 so a software package in a way that it can last for 10 years. That's the main idea of this presentation. We are going to start clean 
and start thinking out of the box. The idea is that we are going to create something for the future, but without breaking with the past. This is the challenge that we have. And we are not only uh, alone in, uh, on this path. I think that our users and our clients are already facing this challenge. And this is the way that we are finding uh, to solve this challenge. Of course, the challenge, as you know, they are the smartphones. The smartphones are the new way that our clients and our, using, uh, uh, our users are interacting with our websites. And that's what we need to really solve here. And when I talk about modern extensions, I know that I can create modules or plugins uh, for Joomla. That's clear. But here we are talking about m web applications. Web applications that are going to be uh, a complete business system to interact with our content. So in the general sense, a modern extension is a web application, a business application to uh, represent, for example, a model, a, a ticketing system, uh, an e-commerce store, uh, something that is, uh, fills a business requirement. As you know, uh, we, uh, at this time, we are facing the challenge of uh, multiple users accessing our sites with different devices. And most of the time, our users, our client also are interacting with our sites or work with our web solution with different devices. And this is what we need to support uh, at any time. Uh, in academia, they have uh, an, a saying that is publish or perish. Uh, this reflects the need to publish a paper, for example, to be uh, on the current trend. So we need to really think and embody this idea of publish or perish. For example, uh, have you published recently an app or you don't have any experience publishing apps? Opinions? Anyone? Anyone? Andy, have you published uh, an app? Published in App Apple Store, Play Store, uh, a web application? Okay. So you can, uh, you can admit that most of your, are, are your users are interacting with your site with a browser. So mm, most of the, your users are accessing the site from Android, from iOS, but with a browser in a mobile device. OK? So the idea that we ha I have to, I want to transmit to you is that that has to change. Your user have to interact with your site with an app, not with a web page. That's what we have to solve after this presentation. Uh, the need to publish an app in any kind, any kind of way, and that's the, the, the compelling reason of this uh, presentation. We need to publish apps. That's the, the, the main message. Why? Because if we create, if we start creating new apps and publishing apps, we are going to find new clients. And I can say that after we started in on this path, we are uh, reaching new markets. And uh, for example, this is the typical example of a company in the stock market when uh, it finds uh, new clients. We are go you are going to notice that you are going to reach a new amount of. Uh, persons visiting your site or uh, an, a new audience that is willing to ask new questions. And for example, in our case, sometimes we find uh, problems. For example, uh, a client in the past week asking why is it social cannot use the camera in Android. This is the, 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 the problem that, that we are facing. But these are the problems, the problems that we want to find because that's the main reason of looking for new clients, uh, new ways to interact with our system, with Joomla, and new users for our applications. In our industry, we can say that 
de Lima, de, de, de main, the main motto is grow fast or die slow. So the objective of our presentation and the development has to be to reach new users and to grow fast. And when you grow fast, you have the feeling that you're really uh, growing and finding new reasons to exist. Uh, on the other side, you feel that you're only losing uh, users and, and clients. So that's what we need to rega regain, this idea of growing fast. Uh, I can say that in this J and Beyond event, the community is stepping up. Um, here, th these are my favorite uh, sessions that I attended. Uh, these are the links, so you can associate uh, this session with the others. Uh, I'm going to add the, the previous one about REST APIs because it, I think it's it goes with the others. So, where we are? In, the, in, uh, in this part of the presentation, we have to be really honest and think where we are really as Joomla, with Joomla as our main technology to develop apps and modern extensions. And we are going to try to do an objective gap analysis of where we are, where we want to be, and what is going to be the future. The good, part, the good parts of Joomla, we can uh, knowledge, uh, we can say that Joomla is a full multilingual CMS, and it works perfectly fine on this area, and I think that there is no other CMS that it is comparable with Joomla. Uh, it has an object-oriented foundation, uh, it is a rock-solid core to develop any kind of system, and it has a huge, huge ecosystem of, uh, of extension. And I think that in our audience, we all, all agree on these uh, advantage, advantages or Joomla. And this is why our uh, users, our, uh, our clients are really choosing uh, Joomla for these benefits. And of course, it, it has, Joomla has a rich and loyal and diverse community, and we are all here listening the, this presentation. So, now we are going to be talking about our pain points of Joomla. Joomla, we can say that it is a desktop-only technology. Why it is desktop-only technology? Because, for example, Joomla is not a headless CMS. Uh, it has a tight integration between Joomla and the web views. So sometimes when you try to access Joomla information, you can, you can, uh, you try to, for example, execute Joomla in a command line or, uh, uh, or with with the API, and Joomla uh, returns a, a page with. Uh, for example, when you try to access uh, a web service in Joomla, sometimes you get the home page. You try to access the uh, a data interface to return uh, some records, and you get the home page. Why you have the home page in a, uh, in a web service? That's part of the, uh, this interaction. For example, sometimes when you try to execute a command line, a cron job with Joomla, uh, sometimes the error is shown uh, in a web page. It's not shown in a friendly way for a command line interface. Um, and that's part of the problems that we are facing uh, on this uh, desktop-only representation. Part of this uh, problem of Joomla being only desktop is, for example, that it is coming with uh, some technology that is, is oriented to support responsive design, but from the first era. Uh, we can use, for example, the Joomla on a desktop, and it is going to work perfectly, perfectly fine. For, for me, for example, when I have to use the backend, I'm happy using the back backend because I am, I, am, I am a desktop user when I use the backend. And I'm happy to use Bootstrap, jQuery, and everything else. 
because this technology works per perfectly fine on a desktop environment. The problem is that this technology that is defined in Joomla, uh, it is not ready for mobile devices. So we need to avoid this uh, technology and create something new ready for modern development or for mobile apps. Um, um, as, a, as a the last line of this slide, we, are, uh, pre we can say that we are going to be living with this technology until the end of light of uh, Joomla 3. Uh, nowadays, we can say that we're going to have a Joomla 3 until 2021. Um, um, so I think that we are going to using uh, we are going to be using at least the uh, backend for a very long time. One of the problems that we face every day is that, for example, a user, a typical user that downloads Joomla and creates uh, his own uh, website, uh, the typical user is going to create this kind of uh, output, this performance, this performance, uh, this performance in a website, for example. Uh, this is a website uh, that is loading in 3G network. Uh, it has many requests, uh, a, a big page size, and the problem is that the, uh, the page loads in one minute. Uh, we are, uh, sometimes when we uh, watch presentation about mobile, mobile apps, uh, they say that uh, a mobile app has to answer in less than three seconds. And our sites are loading in slow 3G in one minute. So this is a typical case of a site created by an average user. And this is what we need to solve. We need to find a way that any of our clients or our user can manage a site in a way that has a high level, a high performance on mobile. Why uh, this happens? I think that the problem is that Joomla, uh, one of the advantages, advantages, uh, advantages of Joomla is that it has this organization of components, modules, modules, and plugins. This is great for desktop because people can create uh, pages and combine modules and plugins in a creative ways and creating amazing solutions. The problem is that this organization uh, can add any kind of style sheets or uh, scripts on a page. And this is what is going to create a mess because it's going to have many different uh, code bases uh, on the same page. And this is what creates, uh, this is what it creates a high number of uh, HTTP requests and a slow loading time and slow networks. And this is what we need to solve with, with the idea of an application. Uh, thus, uh, also associated with the previous idea is uh, the, organization, the current organization of uh, Joomla classes. Uh, the controllers, the models, everything is, uh, has been created in the past, was created in the past uh, based on like, the idea that you communicate in, in terms of pages. In Joomla, you ask for something and you receive a page, always. So this is the, the main problem that we have. The protocol uh, that we are working with, uh, you ask for something and you always receive, receive a page. Uh, let me see. Uh, we are we're going to analyze uh, this idea on the next slides. I have one more idea related with the desktop only case. The problem is that I want to define is uh, what we I, I call in Joomla configuratinitis or pluinitis. Confi configuratinitis. What is co configuratinitis? <laughs> is it a Spanish word? Uh, no, I think that configuratinitis is a disease. For example, why in our article manager we have so many options? Why? Eh? 
Yeah, yeah, of course, we need them. We, it, 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 we have a, a high level of control of many parameters in our RDK manager. It's, it is perfect. This is the, this is the just add one more setting. Tomorrow, yeah, just add one, one more setting. And one month after that, one more setting. After 10 years, we have this list of settings. This is a, a problem that we have uh, in our mind because we all are, uh, um, we are users that we are used to, to, to this kind of forms. And we, are, I mean, we like them because we have a high level of control. But this is against the idea of mobile applications or the applica of uh, a mobile usage. And that's what we need to change. Our minds to think in a mobile environment. And also we have the just or, or add one more plugin. Uh, yes, just one more plugin. Um, but you, you're, we are always trying to look for the right plugin in the plugin manager to find it and change uh, some settings. It is okay because we are used to that for that. We are administrators. But our users, our mobile users, they don't want to do that. They want an optimized experience and use case that is perfect for that use. We cannot afford this kind of user experience in, in a mobile environment. So the idea, uh, where we want to be? We want to reach new clients that they are visiting the site with mobile apps, desktop apps, or for a desktop uh, for other environments. We have to think that in 10 years, the people are going to interact with our content in different ways, not only with apps. They are going to be, for example, talking uh, to a device or uh, with a television. So we have to think in terms of uh, allowing new clients to reach the content. And we have to start doing it right now. We cannot wait for a perfect implementation of uh, a REST server. We have to start, uh, look for a way to do it with Joomla 3. This is the, the, mani, ma, ma, the, mani, uh, the main idea. And this is a, a JavaScript war, so we have to be ready to uh, adopt new technology. For example, Facebook, Microsoft, Google, uh, uh, and there are other alternatives of technology that we need to adopt to reach this new war. So you, we can pick, choose any one of these, but we are going to be for sure choosing the right technology because they are already there publishing apps and web apps for this new market. Of course, we want to keep backwards compatibility because we want to reuse everything that we have today. So the problem is how we redu reduce, reduce the current technology to support the future technology. Of course, we want to protect our investments, our current investment, because at the end of the day, Joomla 3, Joomla 3 is perfect for us. It has evolved along uh, many years, and it's perfect in the desktop environment. So we need to combine this perfect technology with the new market and extend the life until we uh, find a, a new standard. Uh, any question until now? <laughs> How? That's a, that's a good one. But the, the good idea the, is that it can be done. It's not impossible, and it, it is uh, at our hands. What the only part that we need to, uh, to do is we ha have to have an open attitude to do it, because the technology is there. So we need to, uh, I, I think that the main problem is that we need to challenge ourselves to do it. Sometimes I have the, sometimes the people, why bother? Why we need to do the, this? Because we need to survive reaching new, cl new clients and new markets. And this is the real challenge that we are facing. Now, <laughs> continuing with the, this, with the slide. Uh, where we want to be? Well, where we are going to be? In the future, uh, in a couple of years, uh, uh, there are studies that affirm that a good part of the web is going to be running on web apps. F uh, half of the traffic is going to be uh, 
the user, half of our users are going to be using apps for access to web content. So we need to really think what we can do in a couple of years to support this technology. So what we need to really change is our idea that a website communicates, uh, communicates with web pages. Right now, uh, when, when you access a Joomla site, you are always asking for pages and you receive pages. I send a, 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 a tiny form and I, I receive a full page. I send, a, a, a click, I click on a link and I receive a full page and everything comes to me in the form of full pages. Pages that they are really heavy in terms of a mobile, uh, in a mobile environment. On the other hand, if when we try uh, start thinking in terms of apps, we are only going to be receiving an app and after that communicating with the server to gather only a tiny uh, piece of data. For example, if we have a Joomla site with an app, we uh, navigate articles and we are, only we are only receiving articles, not the full pages. And this is what we need to really solve the navigation with full pages. We need to start uh, communicating only sending tiny pieces of data. Um, uh, I'm not going to get into details about for SE web apps and service workers, but uh, it is good to know that, for example, service workers are already uh, implementing all modern browsers. And I have added there one of my extensions. You can download uh, XT work for Workbox uh, for Joomla. And this is an extension that I created to test the idea of the offline navigation. We are working with the magazine site to uh, provide offline navigation for the user. So our uh, user can navigate the site when it is offline. And you can download it and test it, and feel free to comment and give us feedback about the it. Carlos has already tested the, the extension. I don't know what do you think about that. What this does, what uh, Carl Carlos is pointing out, is that uh, when we work with this technology, with service workers and progressive web apps, we are not only thinking in terms of improving our apps. We are trying to improve our web pages. So any of these technologies, of, for example, to improve the cache of a page, is going to improve the speed of our website now. It's not only a theory that it only works for a a, a mobile application or web app is technology that we can start implementing right now in the browsers. So I'm right, I going to be talking about my recipe for modernity. This is very based on these opinions and I hope you enjoy what I am creating and uh, the technology choices that we are uh, doing today. So let's uh, talk about the application mode. The idea of the application mode is uh, to have a Joomla on the lower part of uh, this wall. And after that, we build our technology on top of Joomla. And this is the way that we are finding today to reuse Joomla in the context of uh, an application. So we are going to have Joomla in one side, and on the other side, we are going to have the web app. The web, the web app can live inside Joomla or share some space with Joomla. And this is what we need to find the way to do it with our te available technology today. We are going to be creating a single page, and the idea is that we are going to receive the, the app in a page of the site. For example, this is the simplest way to do it 
today. For example, when you add this additional parameter in the URL, you are going to receive only the page without the context around of modules and other stuff that is going to be, be uh, added by default. Of course, we could have this nice uh, addition to Joomla. This is not part of the core today, but it would be nice, to, for example, to have the option to request an app and not having this to do this kind of tweaks to uh, receive uh, only the app. But uh, besides what is implemented or what is not implemented today, they decide these are the ways that we can do to receive uh, an app. The, f the benefits of the app mode are that we are going to have one extension uh, in in a page and only a, uh, one application in the page. So the application is going to fill the all the screen. Everything is going to be under the control of the app. The app is going to uh, be living inside Joomla, but nothing else is going to be messing with the app. No more spaghetti code or mixed ex scripts, and we are going to try to avoid as many modules or plugins of possible that they add uh, more stuff in our page. The idea is that to we have to avoid any kind of modules or plugin are when we render the page, the idea is that we are going to render the application and after that anything else is going to be adding code. So after the component executes, the components do the anything uh, that is possible to close the connection and avoid any other uh, code added to the page. For example, there are apps around us and without even noticing we are having uh, apps today. The Joomla shop is a good example. Joomla shop is uh, developed in React. It has been created by a, a company, Spreadshirt, Spray, spreadsheet, short, uh, yeah. uh, and it works everywhere. Uh, of course, it's an online service, and there's a monthly subscription. I, the, uh, these are the new models that we are receiving today, this kind of online services with a monthly subscription. And there it is happening right now, and other people, they are already doing, and we are, without noticing, using it inside Joomla. And this is what we need to do. We need to provide new services or extensions to uh, create these experience, online experiences. Of course, we have the Joomla 4 Media Manager. The Joomla 4 Media Manager is going to be a, a view uh, application. It has uh, its own uh, API and it is integrated with the backend. Um, other points to, to, to notice is that it's almost working with this idea of a full page application without reducing at minimum the rest of the uh, elements uh, in the application. I think that we could easily migrate a Joomla Media Manager into a mobile application and it distributed in Google, um, Google Play or Apple Store because it is a, a web application per se. Another one is Easy Article. Easy Article is an, an extension created by Stack Ideas. As you can notice, the Easy Article uh, it is installed in a Joomla site, and when, when you access to the Easy Article Manager, you can manage uh, Joomla articles, but in a full page uh, editor. Uh, about Easy Articles, they are fully developed by Stack Ideas. They created their, their own extension based on Joomla uh, framework, and they develop everything for this ex modern extension. And of course, uh, we have Jusal 9, that's going to be our next uh, major ver version of Jusial. Uh, it is created uh, with Ionic that is based on Angular. 
and we have created uh, our own API. Uh, at this time, Silex, that is part of the technology that we use, uh, is, has been de deprecated, so I think we are going to be migrating to uh, uh, the Joomla uh, API, I think. Let's see. <laughs> Uh, of course, we have to talk about the elephant between us. We have to talk about WordPress Gutenberg. WordPress Gutenberg is going to be is the biggest experiment today. I, th I say that it is an experiment, but nobody knows what is going to happen. Gutenberg is a new edi editor uh, for WordPress. It is a React application. It is based on WordPress API. And it's an experiment because nobody knows ha what is going to happen with uh, WordPress, uh, uh, WordPress 5 that is going to be the next version. They are, they are going to remove the, the editor and they are going to start using Gutenberg, this React application. No, React. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, uh, React. 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 No, it, it is React. No, Facebook. There was a, a, a problem with uh, Facebook because they tried to change the license model of uh, React. But after some problems, they reverted the decision and it's uh, fully uh, GGP. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the, uh, the interesting part of this experiment is that nobody knows what is going, what, what is going to happen. Um, for example, they are creating blocks for Gutenberg. Blocks are going to be like plugins for them. Um, they are creating a new ecosystem based on this idea of Gutenberg. And they are going to, in some way, I think that in the future they are going to start serving progressive web apps or web apps based on Gutenberg. But the reality is that nobody knows how it, it is going to uh, end it. How it's going to end. So, talking about a web application. In a web application, this is a, a, an application that I have installed recently uh, to interact with my uh, brand new Wi-Fi wi -Fi router. And the question for you is, is this a web app? Is this a na native app? Or is this a, um, a progressive web app? What do you think? What, what it, eh? a progressive web app? Yeah? Who can? Static what? Static HTML. Static HTML? Good answer, good answer. The reality is that nobody knows what it is. I can say that I download it from the Google Play store and it works in this way, and there is no way to know it. And that's what we need to realize. We have to create apps that they are similar, they provide similar experience to native applications. And in this case, my first impression was, why I need an application to interact with my Wi-Fi router? Why? And the question was solved because it helped me to uh, install the, the router. And after that, I can, for example, I can open it now and control my router from here. Of course, this app, it does not offer all settings, but it allows me to control the, the router, for example, to restart it from here. I don't need all settings of the, of the router right now. I only need to control some part of the experience from here. And that's the real value of a mobile application or, an app or a, gene a generic application. Uh, we need to understand who is interacting with the site, what he wants to do at any time, and where the person is. So from here, I can interact in some ways with my router at home. And this is what we need to understand, that we don't need a full backend for our users. We don't have to convert our current uh, desktop interface to uh, a full mobile application. Uh, mobile application. It is impossible to do it from one day to the next. We need to understand how our users want to interact with Joomla and only implement that part. 
For example, this is uh, the interface that we are working for the next uh, major version of our extension. And you can notice that we have reduced to the minimum the avail available options. Uh, this is still a work in progress, but we are going in that direction. Well, uh, I'm going to. Uh, okay, we need we need to uh, some way to communicate with Joomla. There are many ways to do it. Uh, in some way, you need web services. I think that in that part of uh, Joomla, we are uh, almost in, in, in a way that we need any kind of technology to, to integrate a web service. There are many options. Uh, I am currently using a, col a couple of them in my extension, in, our, in my solutions. Uh, and uh, again, I think I'm going to, in the next steps, in to, uh, install uh, or integrate uh, the Joomla com API. The domain is also important. Uh, we are, uh, I'm jumping in your slides. OK. Another I idea is that we need to really think how we install and create extensions. We need to uh, use uh, part of this ecosystem of creative libraries uh, that they define what is a modern extension. Composer and Node are a big part of what is a modern web application, and that's what we need to really feel that we are using and improving our extension with this technology. Uh, and I am leaving a couple of links with other uh, utilities that I used for creating uh, applications. And well, now we are reaching the end of the presentation. Sorry for, for speeding up the slides, uh, but we are almost running out, out of time. I think that in some way we have one opportunity because Joomla has the users and the websites and a good share of the market. So we need to really think how we can envision a new CMS for this era, how we are going to uh, serve the content and provide the tools for these new apps. So the idea is that we need to provide new services for our clients, uh, solve these challenges that we are facing today, uh, and in a way, reach new markets and find uh, our new strengths based on what we do today. Um, this is mainly the presentation. I don't know if you have any questions and we can discuss these ideas. Um, I think that this is a personal choice. There is no official way to have a, an API on, uh, on Joomla. So, you what? Uh, ah, is Joomla going to be both a mobile app and a web app, or just an app to do it all? Uh, again. This is a question that Juan, Ronald, Ronald here. Uh, we have to stop thinking in a, mono, in a monolithic way. Joomla, uh, Joomla is a website today. We download the CMS and install everything. But uh, to eat an, an elephant, sometimes you, you have to eat only pieces of the elephant. You, you cannot eat an elephant in one day. You have to eat the elephant one piece at a time. So, in some way, you can ha you, you you can't have an app for the whole Joomla today. You have to define what experience are your uh, user expect expecting to use, and where they're going to use it, or when they're going to use it. For example, if you are going, if you have a newspaper, you have to define an application to navigate the news, and that's it. The, the users of the newspaper, they don't want everything else. Uh, for example, the, the people that create the news, they're going to create the news in a desktop because people are used to create uh, with uh, uh, an image ed editor 
with the with Word. Um, they write an extensive article, they resume the article, they create the article in Joomla, they publish, so they are in a desktop environment. But the user who reads the who read the, the news, they're going to be on mobile phones. So that's the, un the only part that we need to provide in a mobile uh, application or in a web app or in a progressive web app. So the idea is that we are not going to have a full mobile application or a web application for Joomla, in, in, my, in my opinion. I think that we only have to focus our efforts to provide mobile ex rich mobile experiences. They can be the same app. They can be the same app. So yes, the technology today allows you to create one single uh, code base for everything. Of course, there are companies with rich resources that they have a team for Android, a team for Apple, a team for progressive web apps, a team for testing and everything else. But in our case, like we are focusing, focusing our effort on small and medium companies. I think that we need to focus our efforts on what is needed, not uh, nothing else. For, th that's the main idea that, uh, that I have. For example, when I look to this extense configuration settings, we don't want to mirate that. A lot of effort was, uh, as, uh, has been assigned to that, and it, it is it's still uh, an ongoing process on, on improvement. But we don't want to migrate that part. We need to focus on solving the problem that we're having today. We need to reach new markets with the right application. That's the, the message. And the other problem, uh, the other question for, from Carlos. Do you propose creating an API or using any of the ones? Any of the uh, ones available. Uh, <laughs> anyone. Uh, you can use any technology that you want. You can use Laravel, you can use a... Uh, I, I think that Slim Framework is a good one. Uh, to uh, using, uh, CAPI, uh, yeah, yeah, CAPI, uh, it, soon, it sounds great. In the past, I chose uh, Symfony Silex, but Symfony Silex has been deprecated in favor of Symfony 4. So I, I have to think which going to be the next step of our extension. I think that we are going to be supporting Slim, uh, Slim Framework is, is a good choice because it's, it's, it has a small footprint. Uh, I don't know, but it, that's a personal choice. We are okay? Yeah. And that's it, we are, uh, Andy. Yeah, a quick, a quick one. <laughs> I think that I'm not going to talk about Joomla 4 <laughs> because I, I know nothing about that. I think that they are not planning to include any uh, uh, API. Um, there, there are efforts in the Google Summer of Code where students are creating a new uh, web API. Uh, but I don't know if that effort is going to reach the point that it can be included in Joomla 4. Um, let's see. Thank you very much. Thank you for your attention.